Hello and welcome to my 10th Blender video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to paint weights on your model and rig the arms of this model here. So let's get started by going under Add, Armature, move this down to here, and then I'm going to go under Edit and Options of the Armature, turn on X-Axis Mirror. X-Ray might not be a bad idea too. And hit Shift E. Keep in mind that the armature is actually in there. This is just X ray mode. Alright, so. It's about there. The wrist. The arm. But then that's good. So I'm not rigging the head. Turn off my X ray. Just turn it back on for now. About there. On the top view, make sure it's inside. And you notice that it's actually inside there. See, the x ray just gives you an x ray of the uh, bones. So, <coughs> let's name the bones under um, draw names next to envelope. Once the bones are selected in object mode, and you're not in wireframe view. Now, let's. Um, before we can name the bones, we need to parent the um, mesh to the armature by selecting the mesh and then selecting the armature and then hitting Control P, make parent to armature, create from closest bones. And now I'm going to name the bones by going to object mode, selecting the bones, aka the armature. Edit mode. Select a bone you want to start from. I'll start from the hand over here. And it's bone L3 or something like that, 003, but it's going to be the, the uh, right hand, so it's going to be hand R, next bone coming up is the wrist R, the arm R, I could call this a shoulder, but I'll call it the body R, this may not be the best rig for deformations, but it will do the job for this tutorial. Body L. This will be the spine one. Right there. And coming up next will be the arm L. Arm, or actually, wrist L. Hand L. Alright. So now, when I go into repose mode, the hand isn't coming with it right now, but we'll fix that in a minute here. So select the mesh, go in under uh, weight paint mode, zoom out here, then go under uh, edit, vertex groups, this is what vertex groups are. They're a group of vertices, basically, and the what are we going to work on first? We need to work on the right hand. And instead of working on the right hand, then working on the left hand, then working on the right arm, then the right left arm, we need to just turn on X mirror down here. Turn this on, X mirror. And what that's going to do is it's going to mirror your, uh, your paint weights. So you don't have to work on both sides of your model and take twice as long. So let's go down to the arm here. With a hand. Come on, wrist. I need to be on hand. Right here. Hand uh, R. And some of that's being left behind. Now, red is 100%. Um, weight. That's what um, red is. is 100% weight. You'll get the feel for the uh, color spectrum, though. Alright. Looks good. Alright. So now I'm going, going to go into object mode, select the armature, go into pose mode. And now, when I move the hand, R, it deforms correctly. 
So I'm going to go over to the hand L. It deforms correctly also because I pr turned on um, the mirror op the mirror um, option on the uh, armature under uh, white paint. I turned on the mirror option, the X mirror down here, down under the uh, paint tab <coughs> right here. All right. So we're going to select the mesh again. Then actually the bones, aka armature, and the shoulder deformation on the arm R and arm L is really bad. So we need to work on that. And I'm under pose mode right now, so I'm gonna go into uh put it in a pretty uh bold position here to make it look pretty bad. And the whole thing about the paint weight, paint weighting, is that you can sl you can um put your armature and whatever uh, pose it wherever you want to, and then go under paint weight. And then it's kind of like scoping where it should be. That's why I'd sum it up really quick. Is what it basically does in a way. So I'm subtracting, adding, mixing. So I'm checking uh, subtraction now to get rid of the weight, to reduce weight in areas. It's kind of hard to get used to, but after a while, you'll get used to it. I haven't been using it for very long because I'm a... Uh, I usually use Maya, but I wanted to do some Blender tutorials, and subtract it down here just a little. Yeah, there is something sticking out right there. Let's get rid of that. You know, it's not looking quite as bad now. You could definitely do a whole lot of tweaking in there. Pose it back just a wee bit, the armature that is. But pose it back to about there, and you could just start slowly working in there with the pose, add in, subtracting weights, and then going up the um, chain of vertex groups here and working on each until your model looks um, correctly. Um, so it looks like it's correctly deforming. And I don't want this lesson to, lo to uh, this lesson to last too long, so I'm going to conclude it right now. And you should have necessary skills to paint weight. So thanks for watching.